what's happening, my wonderful people? Dino Maleye gets himself in serious trouble. Guess who is facing him now? Yes, who is fighting the fight for Peter Obi? Is Femi Fani Kayode? Femi Fani Kayode says, Dino, you went insulting, harassing Peter Obi. That's very, that's very terrible of you. It shows you are not a good person at all. You went around. Look at the, the man had to bring it up and say, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. You know, look at what you were just, and now you are coming up to say this and that. This is, you know, Femi Fani Kayode now. You know, he said, Dino, what Dino did was unbelievable. Don't forget that those two, hmm? uh, you know, cat and mouse, their own wahala is there. They have their own personal issues ongoing. He said, but what he did was really wrong. How can you go around and start harassing a man? He was actually harassing Peter Obi. Okay, he was not on the panel, but was just making comment by the side and was just carrying out all forms of, you know, uh, distractions and what have you, you name it. You know, trying to get the man really angry, you know, and came out to do a video. You'll be shocked and surprised, you know, some of these things going on. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's see what, you know, Femi Fani Kayode has said to Dino Maleye. Femi Fani Kayode, you went ahead, Dino, insulting Peter Obi, harassing him. It's very shameful of you to carry out in such a way and behaving as if all is well. This is unbelievable. Dino Maleye has been lambasted by the chieftain of the All Progressive Congress for harassing Peter Obi. You are a man who is not wise at all. What has Peter Obi done to you? I have never seen Peter Obi insulting anyone. I have never seen Peter Obi talking about anyone or going against anyone. We know this is election year and campaign has begun and people are saying things one about the other. However, what you have done to Peter Obi is unwarranted. Femi Fani Kayode has called out the presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, over the activities of Dino Maleye. According to him, instead of uniting governors who are aggrieved with him, Atiku sent Dino Maleye to attack and harass Peter Obi during a town hall meeting on Sunday, where he has run out of the country. Can you see that Dino Maleye is not wise at all? Instead of him going to the governors, and making sure that they are all on the same page and his candidate is ready to face the election. He went around harassing Peter Obi and everybody knew, he wrote, you have lost Wike, Makinde, Otom, Ikweazu, Ifain, and Bala Mohammed, six governors. Instead of reaching out to them, you sent your bu bully dog eh, to go around sucking and you know, ransacking people, tons of boyfriends in town, meeting and harassing Peter Obi. For what? What your guy did was wrong. Atiku, be wise. You have lost Wike, Makinde, Oto, Mikbeazu, Ifai, and now Balam, Mohammed. And you are still working with this, with this uh, Dino Malaya who is leading you nowhere. Be wise. This man has nothing to offer you. Don't let him deceive you or distract you at all. He is not going to vote for you. His vote will do. His vote has no meaning to, or, or count in your election. You better consider yourself and not allow these people distract you the more. Wow. Just wow. Can you see exactly what is going on? Can you see for yourself? These are things that are happening that everybody sincerely really needs to pay great attention to. And let's not allow the same thing repeat itself over and over again. You know, the days upon us and the things that are happening have come to show to us, you know, all that is really going on now. On a more serious note, this, this guy does not even know what's happening to him. I want to really tell you that at Siku, I don't think the guy is ready for this election. In my opinion, I feel he should just pack shop eh, and just go ahead quietly. This, there's no pride in it, to be quite candid. There should be no pride in it. And just quietly go support uh, Peter Obi. After all, Peter Obi was once his vice presidential candidate. Eh, he, should pull, he should pull strength together and pull things together and just ensure that he just support Peter Obi and get off what is going on right now. This guy is not, he doesn't understand a thing of what he's doing. He doesn't have a clue. A clue of what he's doing. He doesn't have a clue. Okay? So this is what is going on now. Instead of him to, to put his house together, 
you know, he's, he's going around and making it look like uh, somebody owe him something. Do you get what I mean? Instead of to put his house together and ensure that, you know, his people with everything, he's ready to take the bull by the horn. What is he doing? What is he doing? Can you see that it is, it is high time Nigerians begin to, you know, pay attention to what really, you know, what should really be. So the days upon us and all that is happening have come to show us again and again that Nigerians and everything going on, we just need to rise up to the occasion and not allow the same thing over and over again. Okay, we must not allow the same thing over and over again. So it is time we move ahead. It is time we make real progressive change and ensure that we put and we put ourselves and our nation first of all you know uh, in perspective we must get away from the selfishness and ensure that the first and foremost thing is that we are doing what is right not just for me but for us so we can move forward so we can pro make progress as a nation as a people you see everything that is happening and everything that is going on have come to show to us you know how things are today in this nation the cases and everything going on, you know, everything happening, it's unbelievable. Okay, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. So it's time to, to, to ensure that we put, you know, we put the right things in the right perspective and move this nation from the current space of where it is now. You know, he's not ready. And I'm glad that, you know, Femi Fani Kayode, maybe many things, but I mean, for this one, he's, he spoke it. He said it as it should be. He said it as she, as she should be. You know, this guy is not ready at all to make any tangible move and to bring about a different in, a difference in any way, form or kind. You know, the days and the things that have been happening, all that has been going on have come to show to us again and again that there is serious call for concern over the people we call leaders, over the things that are happening. What are they doing? Why should we allow them? Why? Why should we allow them continue to be there? What parts are they contributing? What parts are they really contributing? And why should we allow such people to continue to manipulate us and take, you know, that which belongs to us as a nation? So it's, it's up to you and I to rise up. It's up to you and I to ensure that we save this nation from the current devastation. You know, it's up to you and I. Let's ensure. Let's ensure we do the right thing. Yes? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us share, subscribe, click on the notification button. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. Remember, you have a voice. So let's get ready our PVCs and let's vote for the right candidate as time draws closer. Bye for now.